welcome back to my channel my name is Idenise and if you have not subscribed to this channel but you're waiting on please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so today I am at work right now um, I was supposed to do some vlogging from this morning but honestly I didn't have any time and you know this morning was one of those mornings where the alarm goes off and you go back to sleep that was me this morning okay it's just one of those days where you just want to you wanted to like sleep but anyways um yeah i'm just at work right now I'm getting ready to go back in for 11. um i do have two breaks so one is normally from 9 30 to 11 and then from 1 to 1 30. so pretty much that is it and yeah i'll keep you updated throughout the day i'm not sure if i'm gonna vlog any for right now but um yeah can you believe the end of the year is almost here <laughs> <clears throat> yeah the end of the year is almost here um but unfortunately when you work in daycare we don't have those breaks like regular job would have breaks you know what i mean so daycare goes all year round um the only breaks we would have is the christmas um and then you have the boxing day and then you have christmas eve and then we're back at you know we're back at it so those are the only days we have um during this time of year so daycare is like a 24 hour job but only thing is set up from nine to five it's like a nine to five setup if that makes sense although our schedules is not nine to five okay um daycares normal daycares or regular daycares open from seven to six here in um toronto but yeah so that's all i got to say guys honestly that's all i got to say like the year is done like the year is done i um normally honestly i would travel i would travel and go see my my mom my sister for the year i didn't get to do that because um i had to move you know that took me off guard that i had to move um so i took my whole energy just trying to find a place to stay and um i was told this when in february so i was just that took a whole toll on me and i couldn't travel you know because it takes a lot of money to travel it takes some saving to travel and stuff like that so i just kind of delayed that off and i feel like the time that i should have took off for myself i didn't do that so definitely for the new year i'm going to take a whole lot more time for myself i am not going to be in that mindset although i've kind of astray away from that where i'm just here to work 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 and pay bills honey i'm here to self-care honey because um you know as long as god is is keeping me alive on this earth i'm going to use that to take care of myself because people are dropping dead every day and i need to use the opportunity just to be me and do me and just take care of myself you know what i mean not always work 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 all the time and especially when you know i, I like there are times where it's funny because i was talking with my supervisor this morning like you know it's not good to be the strong one or be called strong. And I was actually watching um, a video on TikTok and I was talking about like how black women perceive themselves as being strong. And I don't like that. I don't like the word strong. You know, I don't like the word strong. I, I, I just don't like it. I feel like there is no place or no empathy for somebody who's always been strong, strong, strong all the time. You know, I was, I was jokingly say, Hey, I might be called a lazy girl. Cause the lazy girl is a smart girl. She, you know, she, she work hard, but she works smart. If you know what I mean? I'm not talking about like lazy, lazy. If you lazy, you lazy, but I'm talking about the lazy girl who know how to get things done and still able to live a good life. You know what I mean? And I say lazy girl because culturally there is an expectation where you have to be strong you know in order for you to look like you did something in life and i don't like that title i don't like the title being strong um it just doesn't benefit me and um no so next year i'm not gonna say it's a goal i don't do resolutions 
but definitely it's it's one of my priority so yeah so i'm gonna catch up with you guys later so you can come on in in the video since you're interrupting my time no i need to give you an information about what jacob and jericho at school okay they're at school okay robin just called okay, okay yeah, yeah. i don't want to be here with you it's fine don't worry okay well your, well your voice is on it so okay all right peace out then Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to see you guys in another clip. Um, yeah. Peace out. All right, guys. So, I am, I am back from work. So, um, yeah. I'm back from work. As you can see, the oily face. You know, it's been a long, long day. But um, I got a gift from work. Okay, I got a gift from work. So they give gift every year at the end of the year. And last year they give us um, some nice sweaters, okay? Really nice sweaters. And I still wear that sweater up to this day. Like that was the best, one of the best gifts that I've gotten. And that sweater is so warm. So this year, we got something from Michael Kors, okay? So they went all out. They went all out. And I am grateful for it. And I am thankful for it. So, yeah. So I'm going to just share it with you guys. I already know what it is. I already know what it is. Although I haven't looked at it yet. I've actually looked at my co-workers. Um, my co-workers own because they've opened theirs. Well, some of them. Um, yeah. So they had a little mini card. I wish this was a gift card though, but I ain't trying to be ungrateful. Okay, but um, yeah, so it's a Michael Kors card, and it's like in appreciation of all your hard work. Thank you from the from the Yoon family. Yay! Thank you, thank you. We really appreciate it because we work really hard as ECEs, you know. So. We're grateful that they did this for us. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. And it's funny because the gift, I was going to get another, like, a, a purse. Actually, it's a purse, guys. It's a purse. But I was going to get a purse. And then um, this came along. So, yeah. But anyways, it came in this. I'm going to take out the ribbon. So this is my early Christmas gift, guys. All right, sorry about that. I had a phone call, but I'm going to open this box. I actually haven't have I haven't seen how this purse, my purse, look. But I've seen my coworkers. I've seen how theirs look. Um, this is supposed to be like a turquoise. What's what's the color? It's supposed to be like a brown color, or whatever. But we'll see. Okay. So, it came in this box here. Very nice. Okay. And it's wrapped up in this soft tissue paper. Oh. Okay. Me likey. I actually love, love this color. Oh my goodness. I actually had um, a pink one similar to this that my sister brought me, which was the best gift ever, okay? She actually brought me a pink purse with a pink bag, which I have to this day, okay? And look at this. Look at this. I love this. Listen, don't play, don't play, don't play, don't play, don't play, don't play, oh, me like you, hey, I love this color, it's nice, it's nice, and usually I don't go crazy over materialistic things, but listen, if you get something, be grateful for it, okay? Be grateful. Be grateful for it. So thank you so much. I love this color. I'm actually happy that I chose this color. This is so me. 
this is so me this is right in my area yeah but anyways see you guys in another clip all right so i am heading to go to the grocery store i was supposed to go grocery shopping from this morning but honestly guys like <laughs> life caught up with me okay life caught up with me so i'm going to head out now it's about three something it's sunday and yeah so i'm just gonna get a few stuff I'm not gonna do a lot of shopping to be honest with you because i'm on a budget and um yeah just some fruits vegetables um water bottles like water of course water bottles um yeah so pretty much that's it and then i guess when i come back then i will show you guys um what i got yeah but yeah pretty much that's it guys um it's been a long weekend um just wasn't feeling myself to be honest with you was not feeling myself but i made it through thank god i made it through and um you know it's just one of those moments you know what i mean you feel me but yeah so i'm gonna head out to the grocery store and come right back you know like i said i'm not gonna get a lot of stuff and um yeah all right guys so i am back from grocery shopping um yeah so i am proud of myself actually because I didn't spend that much I spent a hundred and thirty something dollars okay that is actually quite good for somebody who hasn't went shopping in three weeks so yeah so let me just show you what I got you know um, yeah so like I said I'm proud of myself okay I'm proud of myself all right so let's get into the groceries and <laughs> I don't know anybody who knows me like I don't like to put up groceries okay I don't like to put it up okay and I don't like to buy it okay it may seem like I like to go and grocery shop I really don't because I get a headache and <laughs> no so let's get into it I brought me a pack of eggs now these eggs are $6.99 all right okay and that's because I'm shifting a bit I'm trying to stay away from well, I don't want to eat too much meat. You know what I mean? I don't want to eat too much beef, um, chicken. I want to lay off it on a bit. You know, not that I'm not going to eat it, but I want to stick to eating some eggs, tuna, sardine, those type of meat, okay? Or those type of proteins. I also brought me some yogurt, guys. Um, I brought me some berries, okay? These berries are pretty pricey, okay? They're pretty pricey. This is like five dollars, so they're pretty pricey. All right, so I'm gonna put all of my refrigerated stuff over here, okay? That way, I make it easier for me. I brought some cucumbers. Now, I like to get my noodles. You know, it's like. You know when you don't feel like cooking or whatever and then you have some noodles around the house, you know? And then sometimes my boyfriend come here and he like to eat the noodles and stuff. So I like to keep these around just in case. Um, I used to get a case like before, but now I don't do that anymore. So like I say, I'm on the budget. So I got me a few of those. I got me some tuna. The tuna are kind of pricey, you know? They used to have those tunas that were like one, one something. But now they're like two dollars, you know, two something, three something, four something. They're quite pricey. This is another yogurt that I got. And I mainly got the yogurt so I can eat with fruit. You know, I don't eat yogurt like to just eat a yogurt like that. I just wanted something to eat with the fruits. Okay. Okay, so I got me some green veg, you know, some leafy green. Um, I got a, uh, I got some spring mix, okay, and then I got some kale lettuce. Now I have way too much tea going on, herbal tea especially. I have way too much of that, you know. I don't need to get any type of tea, but however, I do try to get, um, you know, those teas that has like the lemon and the honey in it 
you know, I don't have to like, kind of like look for the honey or look for some sort of sugar or sweetener to put in it. This is it. So I brought me just one pack and that's it. Okay, and I believe this was like maybe two something. It was not that bad. So, yeah. I got some hygiene stuff, guys. I actually love these type of soap. I normally like to bathe with um, bubble bath um, stuff. I don't like to bathe with any bar soap. But I actually like the Dettol kind. So I got me one. I thought I got two, but I don't know where the other one went. Oh, well. Moving on, guys, to some more fruits and vegetables. I brought me some banana, oranges. I have some lemon, no, I have some lime in the fridge already, so I brought me another pack because you you never want to run up, you never want to run out of lime or lemon, okay? You want to make sure those are in your fridge at all time, especially in this season, okay? Um, I brought some apples, of course, and then I brought some grapes. All right, moving on to the last buy, guys. All right, like I say, I'm very proud of myself. I was right on budget. I didn't go into 200s, you know. I just felt like I didn't need to just overdo it. You know what I mean? I'm training my mind. And yeah, I did get a pack of Aquafina water, which I already put underneath the cupboard. And that was like very pricey. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Skyline Supermarket sell their water's really pricey so that was 6.99 just for a pack when i could have gone to north Rose and get a pack for like two something but oh well okay i brought me some um tissue some tissue toilet tissue paper okay i just brought a small pack this time because i'm only one person you know what i mean so i can manage this can manage this is can manage for a good three weeks, another three weeks. And I have some more in the bathroom already. So this should be okay. Okay. And this was like $5.99. This was the cheapest one. Okay. Then I brought me, you know, just something random. I know I bought a pack of water before, but I was like, you know what? I have to have um this water. Okay. In fact, I'm going to open it right now because I'm thirsty. I don't know if you guys know I'm running out of breath because I had to bring a lot of stuff inside here. And it's raining, okay? It's raining. But anyways. Woo. Woo. Yeah. This is pretty much some hygiene, cleaning stuff, house stuff. Like I said, I brought some soap. Um, toilet tissue paper then I saw this right here they had different kinds and it's the Eskinol classic glow facial deep cleanser um, it reveals natural skin controls oil and let me tell y'all something I can tell you a thing or two about oil okay so I was like okay let me try to try this um, the instructions are in the back so it's a facial deep cleanser so yeah we're gonna see how this works and i'm still i've still yet to do a favorite my favorite products video yeah okay i don't know why she packed this in here that's why i like to do my own packing but she put this with a detergent but anyways i brought one of these in, in creole they call these paswa but i don't know what they call these in english but yeah i needed one of these because i have a lot of herbal tea around here and sometimes i need to drain the herbs and stuff like that in here so yeah this underneath here yeah no i need to wash it i brought me a large detergent okay so i can you know do stuff around the house wash my clothes yes i do wash my clothes with detergent so yeah this detergent so don't come for me do not come for me oh it will not be nice so oh. it will not be nice but anyways, so Skyline went back to selling their papers again, guys. I'm not sure if they're now going back to selling plastic bags, which is good. 
So I brought me some. I brought me two, actually. Okay. Sometimes, you know, when you don't want to keep drinking the water, you want something else, something sugary or whatever. So I was like, you know what? Let me try and get something different rather than soda because I've been drinking a lot of soda and I need to stay away from soda. So I brought me some good old Tiger Malt. Okay. All right. So they were the cheapest kind. So I got these. I got two. I'm about to do my nails right now. Okay. So I brought some Q-Tex nails. All right. So those are the personal hygiene stuff. I got a lot of packing to do, which I hate. Then, guys, I was looking for this. The castor oil. Yes, I was looking for this. So I was happy that I found this. There was another kind, but I was like, you know what? Let me get this kind. Okay, this was like $6.99 for this. This is omega-3 acid, heart health. Um... I believe he's supposed to intake this, but actually for me, I am going to use it for external use, okay? External use, you know, I'm going to put it around my liver area to give me liver cleanse and all that stuff. Just put it around my body, you know? Just do all that detox stuff. That's what I'm going to do because I really, really need to do that. So, yeah. But anyways, um, that is it, guys. That is it. That is it for my grocery shopping. Um, peace out. <laughs> Alright, so it's been a while since I've done it. I have, um, I needed to get some nail products. Uh, that's because I want to start doing my own nails. You know what I mean? I want to start off slow, you know. So I decided to get some products from Amazon. Um, it's the soap gel. Do you know So this is supposed to be shellac. In Canada, we call it shellac. But I understand in the States or whatever, they might call ow, ow. In, in, in Canada, we call these shellac nails. But in the States, they probably call them gel nails. So I got me a pack of those. And this is the color that I got. These ones right here. You know, very neutral colors, which is... Um, which is something new for me. You know what I mean? Something new for me. Because I like to try both colors. But I said, let me get into the neutral. So then I got the... Here. What do you call this? What you call this? This is like a UV LED. UV LED. This is what it looks like here. And... Okay. Okay. Yes, boo. Yes, boo. I believe I gotta plug this in because it does have some something to plug it in. So um, these are funnels somewhere. Okay, it's nothing to do with nails, but these are the funnel seeds, and it keeps your mouth fresh through the whole day. So you can put these in your water and stuff, and you can also season your food with these also. But I like to put them in my water to keep my water. And then I went and got some dental probiotics um, for somebody who's had a lot of cavity and has a lot of floss. No, I like has a lot of um, what you call it, fillings in her mouth. Um, I want to keep up with good dental health, so I brought these. Now you see so, something yeah. like I have money. You like I have money? Okay, I have no lajon. Okay, I have no lajon. Don't think I have money on. Don't think I have money on. So this is supposed to be what is this? A nail set pro? Oh, this is the machine stuff. Mm hmm. This is the machine stuff, y'all. Oh gosh, let me open it. Let me open it. Okay. See that? You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? So I'm gonna own my own nail store and stuff. I believe you have to plug this in the laptop. What's going on here? But anyways. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. Let me stop. Let me stop. Oh. Yes, I got the whole um nail decoration package as you can see it has like the brushes if you can see like the brushes oh, stuff. Right. Yes, so. yes and then you have like the ribbon piece that comes with the ribbon piece those are decorations also okay and then you have like a little confetti white paper decorations listen i love it and of course you have the brushes and stuff okay i'm good to go i'm good to go i don't have to spend money for nails no more okay i'm good to go peace out